I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and today I'm going to take you around our campsite. We just finished up with day one of a two-day off-roading trip where we're shooting a couple of videos about the Jeeps you see behind us. We did a build on the Dune JK. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out that build. And we did a couple other videos with the other Jeeps. So again, subscribe, check out those videos. They're going to be pretty cool. But we are setting up for camping for tonight. We brought a bunch of gear out here with us that are going to make it a lot more fun and a lot more comfortable for us to be out here that I thought a lot of you who use your Jeeps for camping might like as well. So I'm going to take you around and show you what we brought. When I'm camping, one of my favorite parts is the food and the drinks. So of course, you're going to have to have a way to keep everything cold when you're out on the trail during the day. And we've all had our big coolers full of ice, which ends up just full of water by the end of the day, and you end up with a soggy sandwich. Well, the ARB fridge freezer is one way to get rid of that. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody. This is an expensive item. But if you are somebody who does a lot of camping, a lot of overland style off-roading, you can't keep ice for an extended period of time, that's where this is going to come in. This is a really, really nice option. This is going to be the 37 quart ARB fridge freezer. You can fit a ton of 12 ounce cans inside of this. You can fit all kinds of other food. In fact, pop it open for you here. We have our sandwiches inside of here. And like I said, you don't have to worry about your sandwiches getting all soggy from melted ice. And you have room for everybody's food inside of this thing. As you can see, it closes nice and tight. You don't have to worry about it opening up. You're not gonna have to worry about anything spilling. In fact, if you wanna really make sure it's not gonna bounce around on the trail, they even make a strap kit for this thing to keep it nice and tight. If you wanna be able to pull it out very easily, there's a slide kit. You can get a couple different accessories for this. It's, it's a very, very nice unit. As you can see right on the front here, you have an LED readout, all of your buttons, turn it on, adjust your temperature. You can even make ice in this thing if you wanted to. You can crank it down that low and it'll get that cold. But one of the smartest features of this is unlike your regular fridge or freezer that draws a ton of power, this is going to only use a very small amount of power and it's also smart. So it'll automatically turn off if your battery gets to a low enough voltage. That way you know you're still gonna be able to start your Jeep and you won't end up with a dead battery on the trail. All you need to do to get this thing fired up is plug it into any 12 volt power source. Of course, your Jeep has one right in the back here. It makes it really, really convenient for you and it'll start getting cold right away. So like I said, we keep a, a ton of stuff in here. Got some fruit over here as well. And one of the other items that I really like in the back here when we're talking about food is the TerraFlex tailgate table. And this is the version with the cutting board. It's available both with the cutting board and without it. You can see the cutting board is right on here. And the cutting board is actually really nice because you can move it around and bolt it into a couple of different locations. So regardless of what you're using it for, you can move it and make it most convenient for you. And of course, you're probably gonna have a table or a picnic table or something like that when you're camping anyway. But this makes a really nice food prep station and it's gonna be right near your fridge freezer or your cooler, whatever you might have. This is one of those things that you really don't think about, but when you have it, you're going to use it all the time. So that's it for this stuff as far as the food prep goes, but we do have a couple other things that are gonna make your camping experience a little bit more comfortable. So let me show you those. One thing you're always gonna have a ton of when you're camping is gear, especially if you have a lot of people at your campsite like we do tonight. And being able to organize it is always a good thing. So what we have here is the Rugged Ridge storage bag. Now, this is gonna be something that's gonna to help to organize your gear. It's got a strap on it. You can just grab it out of the back of the Jeep, take it right over to the campsite with you. And it is gonna help you organize because on the inside, it's actually subdivided into four different quadrants here. So you can keep your stuff exactly where you put it. Got a little bit of a pocket up front here that snaps closed as well. I mean, this isn't gonna be a complete game changer, but it is going to help to organize some of your gear, which is gonna make it a little bit easier to get set up and get to the fun. Speaking of the fun, let me go around to the side of the Jeep and show you one of my favorite parts. One of my favorite parts ever since we added to the website has been the Jamic 2.0. And that's why my buddy Dan is hanging out. And Dan, you look pretty comfortable. How you doing? Yeah, man, it's comfortable. I'm relaxed and enjoying the trip. Yeah, this is really one of my favorite parts. This is a dual purpose item. This is going to be pretty much a mesh top, a bikini top, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be able to live right underneath your soft top or your hard top and give you some shade when you have those tops slipped down. But as Dan is demonstrating right now, this thing is also going to be a hammock. So whether you're camping, you're tailgating, you just want somewhere to hang out, you can hop up here. And even if you're a big dude, I mean, Dan, how tall are you? I'm 6'5". Dan's 6'5", and he's comfortable hanging out in here. This thing is really a great dual purpose item. And for the price, it is a must have if you're a camper. Well, we have a couple more parts to show you, so I'm gonna hop down and get to it. 
One of the last items we brought with us today to our campsite is this Mean Mother Maxi 4x4 3 compressor. And this is going to be great for those of you who are doing a lot of camping or even just guys who do a lot of wheeling because this is going to air up your tires very quickly. You're not going to have to wait at the closest gas station pumping in quarters to air up your tires. You're going to be able to do it at your own time and it's going to do it again very, very quickly. So when you're using a compressor for airing up tires, it's not so much about pressure as it is about volume. And this moves a lot of volume at the pressure that you're going to be using it at so you're going to be able to air up even a big 35 37 inch tire really really quickly now this compressor does also have a unique feature this comes with a remote control you might be thinking why do i need that well you can actually hard mount this compressor wherever you want hardwire it in and then use the remote to turn the compressor on and off when you're out at the wheel so you can get it up to the perfect pressure so it comes right out of the box with a set of alligator clips you can just plug it in use it how we're using it today or you can do that hard wire mounting which is just a different option for you but since we're on a two-day wheeling trip we're not going to air up the tires tonight what we are going to use it for this evening is to have a little bit of fun this does come with a needle so you're going to be able to air up a ball have a little bit of fun around your campsite before you hop up into your tent so i'm going to air up this ball and then i'm going to show you the last thing that we brought with us which is one of my favorites My favorite piece of gear that we brought with us today is the Smittybilt rooftop tent that's behind us. I've always thought that these things were so cool the way you can just pull them with one strap and boom, you have a tent, you have a place to stay. This is going to mount on any roof rack that you have over your soft top or your hard top, or even one of those load bearing roof racks that you can screw directly through your hard top for a really neat and clean design. This just mounts in four locations, pops up, very easy to install, even easier to set up, and the thing has a ton of really cool features. So let me show you when we get up there. So like I said, this thing is absolutely full of features. You flip it open right away. You don't have to set up any sleeping bags, any sleeping mats. This has a foam padded mat on the bottom of it. So you and the second person that's sleeping in here with you, because this can hold two people, are gonna be really, really comfortable. This has a couple of spots to let air in and out. All of these have screens that zip close and also other shutters that you can put down over top of them. Each one of the windows has a rain fly over top of it that again is very easy to set up. A couple of metal poles, it only takes a second. It actually has sunroofs right in the top here. So again, you're gonna get a ton of air that's gonna be able to come in and out. And you're also gonna get a lot of light in here. But when it does become nighttime and you need a little bit more light, this has an LED strip that's built right into it. It just Velcros right on and you can power it through any USB cell phone charger, any battery charger, or run a cable right down to the 12 volt on your Jeep and power it that way. You have some straps that are built right into the frame of this thing to help make climbing up and down the ladder a little bit easier. And there are some accessories that you can purchase on top of what you get out of the box that'll make it even more useful, especially if you have a big lift, you can get a longer ladder and a few other things that make it even nicer to use this when you're out camping. So that's the gear we brought with us on this camping trip to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more comfortable while we were out here. And it's some stuff that I think you guys who use your Jeeps while camping might enjoy as well. Well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go light a bonfire, cook up some hot dogs and crack open a nice cold beer. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out great build videos and other great Jeep content.